Hey guys, my name is Scott Poley. I am a session guitarist and pedal steel player. I also produce and write my own music. I've been in the studio all day today working on a really fun project for a new guitar company called Cream Tea Guitars. I've been doing their official product launch video and another video for my channel as well, which may or may not be up by the time this video is posted. But it's ten past six now, going on about quarter past six. I've just received a phone call asking me to Depp for a gig on Saturday night. Depp for a good friend of mine, Sarah Jory. Sarah is an incredible pedal steel player. She's played for Rod Stewart, Van Morrison, Eric Clapton, etc, etc. She's, she's incredible. And the gig is at the Bridgewater Hall in Manchester, which is not that far from me. I'm based near Liverpool in England at the moment. And uh, that's, that's all well and good. The Bridgewater Hall is a stunning venue. But the gig is also with an orchestra the full Halle Orchestra. <laughs> so, yeah, the gig is on Saturday night. It's now Thursday at quarter past six. I have rehearsals on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. And I've got to learn two 45-minute sets worth of music between now and then. And, yeah. Sorry, forgive me a little bit, a little bit startled, but I thought I'd try and capture this because this is, yeah, it's just a bit mental. But I'm going to try and show you all the prep and behind the scenes and take you to the venue and my next stages. I've been sent through the tracks, a recording of the show that has been recorded for a previous from a previous year. So that's good. So I've got all the material and I've got some good charts as well, the orchestral charts and some chord charts. So I'm going to spend my evening working my way through those, um, annotate them as necessary. And yeah, let's do it. Sit rep. It's half past nine here, and I'm just going through the charts, learning a few of the songs, and making a few notes. This is the way I'm doing it at the moment, and it's working out really well for me. I have an iPad here. This is an iPad Pro that I've just not long got, and it's absolutely brilliant. I have the Apple Pencil too as well. And basically what, I've, what I'm doing, I've got screen share on the iPad here, or screen split, sorry. So I've got the tunes on the left hand side and I've got the charts on the right hand side and as I'm going through, instead of doing it on paper and scanning it in or anything like that, I'm just making notes onto the charts with the Apple Pencil. I can then export those PDFs into a program called Fourscore, which I'm going to run on stage on this iPad. This is an old iPad 4, I actually just replaced my old one, this was like... $80 or something, just a basic one. I just don't really like using this really expensive iPad Pro on stage, but this is this does the job and you can highlight bits, do all that kind of stuff. You can you know, make different colored notes. It's just a really good way of doing it. Right, cup of tea time, I think. Right, done for the night. Listened to all the tunes, made all my notes and I've just transferred all of those parts onto this little iPad that I'm going to use on stage. Really looking forward to practicing tomorrow. All I've got to do now is set up the pedal steel. So, see you tomorrow. Day two check-in, got my cup of Yorkshire tea. It's the best tea, no questions about that, thank you very much. Right, so, had a really good sleep last night, feeling much more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. Been out for a lovely walk. The weather is stunning outside today, it's really beautiful. So, yeah, much clearer ahead today. Gonna get down to business and go through the set. I've got all the charts on the iPad, so I think my first job is just to go through the tunes have a quick play of them, make as many notes as I need to and just kind of ingest the material as much as possible. 
and then I'll probably run the show fully later this afternoon or into the evening. So looking forward to today. Let's get cracking. gonna lie there is a reality setting in of just how big a challenge this is to learn in a short period of time it's then it, how daunting it is that tomorrow night I'm going to be playing this with an orchestra I'm not gonna lie a little bit of anxiety setting in right about now <laughs> yeah freaking heck back to it Done all I can today, practice the set through, gone over the particular kind of more difficult tunes. Ironically, the first couple of tunes in the set for me are absolute killers. It's such a great varied set with all, I mean, all the classics, you know, Patsy Cline's Crazy, and all the way up, you know, Dolly Parton stuff. Um, my one that I'm gonna struggle with just emotionally is playing Witch to a Line Man by Glen Campbell with an orchestra that's going to be quite something uh, just even the sound of it on the recordings is it's there's nothing quite like the sound of live musicians but particularly an orchestra uh, i just can't wait to hear that that's, i mean that's going to be really special I and mean, what a song that is my god it's really interesting actually you go and hear some of these old tunes and they're so complex and so well written and so well arranged and no auto tune in those days, no just real musicians, real production, no effects, no crap. Anyway, pack down my gear, got a packing list here that's kind of scrawled on the back of a bit of note paper, but I don't want to forget anything. I need to pack some I've got you know spare strings. I'm gonna pack a spare amp because God forbid I don't wanna blow anything up while there's an orchestra going behind me. For the nerdy amongst you, like I am, I thought you'd appreciate this. Yes, it's just a chair, it's the seat I use for my pedal steel, but if you open it up, you'll notice all the gubbins I use for the gig, so jack plugs for my guitar, I've got a headphone extension in there, spur volume pedal, I use a Hilton volume pedal for the gig because it's the best one, that's a Godrich one, an old one. Um, mains in this side, Got my Ebo in here, which I use for like a quarter of one song, but it's fun. Spur strings, the tool kit, USB leads and effects power and a couple of bits of tools and stuff. While I've got all my gear out, I thought you'd like to see the pedal board I use and I'm using for this gig. So pedal still goes into a Peterson strobe tuner set on the sweetened E9 setting because that's what you use for pedal steel. Then the cable goes out into this Hilton volume pedal and back into the board. I've got this external switcher just in case I want to connect another pedal. I'm not using that for this gig. Thorpey Peacekeeper for drive. I've got this Wampler EQ pedal that I use just all the time because my pedal steel is really bright. So you can see all the settings are marked on there. That's a new acquisition and it's brilliant. Um, Source Audio Collider. Uh, delay on this side, uh, sorry, reverb on that side, delay on that side. Great pedal this, really great piece of kit, loads of varied sounds and then I have the other pedal that sustains uh, the source audio collider, it makes like a repeat hold function, I'm, again I'm not using that for this gig so main bulk of my sound is just the one plus for a bit of EQ and the reverb from this really and a little bit of delay and of course the swell pedal, the volume pedal for everything so yeah that's the pedal board, dead easy, pa powered by a Strymon.
Right, it's eight, or oh, it's nearly nine o'clock. I need to get going. It's the morning of the gig. All packed, cars packed. Got some great food with me. Made a couple of falafel salads up last night, so that's a good thing. Um, Got to go to the gig now. Just get it done. Looking forward to it. Rehearsals at 11, so time to get cracking. Let's go to the Bridgewater Hall. <laughs> arrived backstage at the Bridgewater Hall, all the gears in, just load it onto the trolleys, I'll show you around the backstage here. You can check it Right, just finished practicing with the band. The band sounds excellent. It's actually great because uh, my friend Ben, who we've done a bunch of gigs with, is on drums. And I didn't know, so that's brilliant. It's great to catch up with him. Uh, the band are great, fantastic conductor, really you know, open-minded to doing some different things and fantastic control of the band. And it, it's just so great to work with the conductor again as well. So yeah, fantastic stuff. I've got a bit of song blur now. <laughs> There's so many songs stuck in my head all at once and all the different keys, but all going well so far. Orchestra rehearsal in about an hour and a bit. So oh, fingers crossed. Just found this really cool place called Dormouse Chocolates in Manchester. They're near Deansgate, but they make their own chocolates in house. So, had to be done, giving them a go. I've got a dark and a bread and butter milk chocolate. Apparently they get local sourdough bread and roast it down until it's all kind of caramelly and delicious and incorporate that into some milk chocolate. So we'll do a taste, taste test of that when I get home. But yeah, back to work. While the orchestra are tuning up, I thought you might like to see the rig I'm using. So, reins, double neck pedal steel guitar, 99% of this gig is on the E9, the front neck. Uh, it's a kind of classic country stuff. We've got the traditional eight pedal and four knee lever combination. Hilton volume pedal. Into the pedal board. In terms of amps, you can see just behind me, it's all little Walter gear. 50 watt head, two 1x12 cabs. Currently trying some new speakers in these, which is something absolutely great, I have to say. And orchestra just doing their thing, tuning up behind me. I'll show you some of the other guitarist gear just from my position. And the guitarist is using a Boss GT1000, they're both going DI with a little head rush, kind of monitor powered monitor speaker. It's got a Faith acoustic. And this really cool guitar, I'll show you this, the guitarist and his dad built themselves. It's this beautiful kind of Les Paul style guitar with a blue finish. And then all the guitar players using a Kemper, uh, kind of standard with Telecaster, because let's face it, it's country music. Eastwood Les Paul style, uh, sorry, Eastman Les Paul style guitar, which just sounds awesome actually, it's really beautiful. And a Taylor, and another little powered monitor there as well. So. Bare face and mark base base stuff. Let's get ready for this. Oh, sweet Jesus. 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 Oh,
metal steel. <laughs> Stephen, a fantastic conductor. Keep my elbow stretched that far, we'll go the other way. Oh, strings, violins, violas, woodwind. So, it's gig time. It's just about seven o'clock. Just gonna go on stage and tune my pedal steel. And yeah, just been out for a nice pizza. So that's a jolly good thing. Nice bit of food before the show. All the guys here are really lovely and it's just so great to play some music with some new people. So excited for the show. Also slightly bricking it at this point. I'm not gonna lie to you, but yeah, really excited. This is gonna be great, see you later.
Just like that, we're done. Geek's done. What an amazing experience. The sound of that orchestra and all those incredible people behind you is quite profound. And it's something I'll remember for a long, long time. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, I would love it if you would press that like button, subscribe, ring the bell icon. I put videos out every week, but I'm off to go and have a well-earned beer. Catch you later, folks. Cheers. So what Pack Down looks like at an orchestra gig. All these flight cases and double bass cases. Mental.